Afternoon! Hello! Now this sounds a bit rude, but we're going to the Framlingham Sausage Fest. <laughs> aren't we? The Great Framlingham Sausage Festival. Mm. Ed Sheeran's hometown of Framlingham. Yeah, we might see him. You've heard of Castle on the Hill? We're going to see the castle. <laughs> Apparently there's loads of sausages to taste. Yes, you have a tasting ticket. I don't, because I don't like sausages. Six pounds, you can eat as many sausages as you want, apparently. And you have to judge the best sausage. Ooh. Okay, let's go do this. Let's go. You may be wondering why Foz has a funky moustache. This is my tasting fork. It's unique. <laughs> we have a map. There are 11 stops. Would that indicate there's 11 sausages? I believe so. We're starting with the one by the library. Number one is a classic, a classic pork sausage. Gluten free. So Foz was so excited to eat his first sausage that he just noshed into it without filming it. Forgot to film it. Pretty average. Um, six out of ten I gave it. We have a scoring card, I'll show you. We do. And you get a stamp for each one. Yes. Six out of ten, it was an average start. <laughs> I've tasted better. Found a lovely little mark, haven't we? We have. And we've bought some nice ketchup. We have, we bought some mush chuck. Stop number two is the Crown Hotel. Yes. Yeah, but M. <laughs> He's got a sausage joke to tell us. <laughs> yes, Foz. Why should you be afraid of sausages? I don't know. Because you should always fear the worst. Oh, wow. We've just come from the Crown Hotel, yielding some sausage. Huttons of Earl Soham. Is that what it's called? Yes. Right, this is another classic pork one. Are we ready? Down the hatch. Mm. I'll give that a five out of ten. Have you noticed when Carl like, tastes something, he goes... <laughs> you may be wondering why poor Emily is not eating sausage. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? I don't like sausage. There you go. <laughs> well, I love sausage. More innuendo in this video than a carry-on <laughs> film. Stop number three. That one is the best one so far. Wow, that was G. Shuri and Son. Mmm, that was good. You like that one? That what was, was so meaty, good about that? Meaty. Okay. That was a meaty, thick, good textured sausage. Oh, cool, you really enjoyed that. That was good. I'm going to give that an eight and a half. Ooh, we're going into decimals now. We're getting some big numbers now. Sausage number four is the cook shop. So this is the Jolly Meat Company, and this is the first sausage we've encountered, which is called... From the new taste sensation category. This <laughs> is going to be special. How's the new taste sensation? Oh. Five. Ooh. Sorry guys, honest review. Weather's turning. We just found some mighty impressive fake antlers. We did. For a little moment, we thought they belonged to a gigantic beast. So this is sausage number five. Yes. We're at Care UK. Mills Meadow. This is the Wars Man, W-O-R-S. Yes. Is that you pronounce it? I don't know, Wars Man. And this one is a new taste sensation. But well, the last one didn't rock your boat, did it? The last one was very underwhelming. Rock your boat, float your boat. Either. <laughs> didn't rock or float my boat so let's hope this one is more delicious hmm. it's a bit like Disneyland for meat eaters you you walk around you find your stall hmm. and then you queue up and then you eat it mm. That's the best one so far. You got two bits. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, he's happy now. Look at that. Nine and a half. That's a sausage. Cool. Sausage number six. And this one is the English street food one. A Keo Street English street food. I came over all British with the lady that fed you it did, to me. She said, "Oh, you went. Oh, that's was, lovely." Said it was delicious. No. Oh. Three. <gasps> what was wrong with it? Not a very nice taste and the texture was not very nice. Oh dear, okay. Sorry guys, it's an honest review. No, okay. sausage seven. <laughs> Oak House Farm uh, from Sproughton. Apparently these are low food miles. Ah. Uh, I think that is a rival for the nicest one, that one. Oh my goodness. That's a nine as well. Wow. Actually, I'm going to give that a nine and a half. Wow, that good. Because 
that one had a slightly more barbecued, burnt mm. taste. Okay. Which might not appeal to everyone, but for me... That was nice. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, now, we've got three left, haven't we? Yep. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, probably our fault, <laughs> to find all these sausages yes. around the village. We have been lost on a couple of occasions. Yes. Emily has given in <laughs> and now wants a brownie. Poor girl, she hasn't eaten anything. No, I've just watched everyone else stuff their faces with sausages. I'm going to have a brownie. Yeah. <laughs> We've had our brownie and now it's sausage number nine. All far. Right. May I have a second? You Sorry. may indeed. That had cheese Ooh. and red onion marmalade, didn't it? Mmm, that sounds nice. That may be our winner. Yeah. Our penultimate sausage. Indeed. Pepperell's meats. Pepperell's meats. Penultimate sausage was average. Average? I gave it a seven. That's not too bad. There's a shop here that Emily knows a fascinating fact about. I do, yes. Um, it features quite heavily in the uh, hit BBC series, The Detectorists. Local shop for local people. Also, the local pub up there also is in The Detectorists. Is it? As many of you people who live in Framlingham will obviously know. Before we uh, find our last sausage, we're going to go and see what's going on, aren't we, around? There's all sorts of hullabaloo. <laughs> hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. We when we can. You may remember our video about the Ed Sheeran exhibition in Ipswich. Yes. Take a look, important nonsense fans. We're nearly a thousand views for that, aren't we? We are, yeah. Local boys from round here. The final sausage. <laughs> Number 11, <laughs> and we're at what's it called? Simpsons. 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 Which is kind of a sweetie shop. How was number 11? Number 11 was all right. All right. Yes. But the winner was the local Framlingham butcher. Yes, Framlingham. the Hall Farm Butcher. Hall you farm loved butcher. that one, didn't you? Oh, blown away. That um, was your winner. We don't know what the actual winner is yet. No, we don't. Many months ago. We did a plastic-free video, didn't we? We did, yes. Uh, where Ideas Man Ben set us the challenge of going plastic-free for a week. Yeah. I just bought a milkshake with a pasta straw. Now, that's different. <laughs> it's a bit of pasta. Good idea. Works. So, we've done Framlingham Sausage Fest, haven't we? You have. You've tried all the 11 sausages. Yes. There was a clear winner for you. There was. The local Framlingham uh, butcher won with its cheese and red onion marmalade sausage. Oh, oh that was good. <laughs> no vegetarian sausages. I wouldn't expect to see a vegetarian sausage at a sausage festival, to be honest. But we live in 2019, so perhaps next year. Lots of nice stalls. If you want a condiment... Oh, yes. Looks of nice sauces and relishes and yummy things. We actually bought some. We did. We, we, <laughs> look at this bag. Look at all them. Uh, we had an amazing brownie. Oh, that brownie was good. One, probably the best brownie I've ever had. Prize winning brownie. Yeah. And we got um, lots of exercise because we've we, walked all around. We, we, we did. Standing. We walked quite a way, didn't we? We did. There was music. The parking is a bit of a walk. Yeah. What do we think? Do we like Sausage Fest? Yeah, why not? It's good fun. It was. It was, it was different. Were you at Framlingham Sausage Fest? Which was your favourite sausage? <laughs> Comment below. And... Yes? We're very, 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 very close to 500 subscribers. And when we reach that mark, we have prepared for you a really interesting... <laughs> A really a fun, very special video. Very special video. So help us out. Hit subscribe. Yeah. And smile. As always, guys. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. If you like this video, click on subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. If you want us to do a review for you, just click on the about section below and contact us.